In this video, we're going to go over the KeyFast settings. So to open the KeyFast settings, you can go ahead and click on this gear icon. Now, you're going to have a bunch of text fields here that you can change, and you're going to have descriptions of those text fields on the right, uh, and a little icon that helps you on the left. So these first two icons you can see uh, apply to easing mounts. Uh, if you need more context or more information, you can also hover over the icon and it'll give you a little bit more information. So this one says, this is for easing on the second keyframe. Uh, this next one here is your slide amounts. So if we're having our little layer here slide in, then that just slid 750 pixels because that, was, that is the amount that we set here. Uh, rotation is pretty self-explanatory. If we use the rotate buttons, then this will rotate 180 degrees. The stagger amount, uh, this one I'll show you a little demonstration. So if I make a bunch of these keyframes or a bunch of these layers here, and then I stagger them, you can see, if we zoom in, that there's space between each of these layers now. And that has been spaced one frame uh, because that's the amount that we have here. The animation length is in seconds, so what that means is if I hit U to uncover my keyframes, then I can see that there's, there's space between my keyframes, and that space is uh, currently one second. We can crank that up or down. If we make this two, then this amount would double uh, the space between these two keyframes. So these next two things are going to be both overshoot related. So if we check this box on, you'll notice that the overshoot percentage has been highlighted, and this has also been highlighted. So that's how we know that they're linked, um, they're both on, that's just kind of a visual signal. Um, what this does is if I turn that on and I hit save, then it's going to give you a third keyframe. So for example, if I rotate, and let me just hide all these other layers, my rotation actually has an overshoot now, and then it comes back. So if you want to make that uh, a significantly higher overshoot, then you could crank up this percentage. Uh, right now it's at 30%, so it'll overshoot 30%. Uh, this next button here, uh, this is nice if you want to have uh, sequential animations, and I'll show you what I mean here. If I click that on and I hit save, and now I have one layer here, and I want it to uh, move. You'll notice our cursor just jumped, so now I want to rotate and you'll notice our cursor jumped again, and maybe I want it to move again, and now our cursor jumped a third time. So if I hit U to uncover my keyframes, you can see that every time it placed the keyframe, it put the cursor at the end uh, of that animation. So that way we can do these really quick, um, again, just sequen sequential moves here. So that's what this checkbox does when it's turned on. Um, this next one I find to be very useful, and I usually have it checked on. Um, so sometimes when you create a path, you'll have these little handles like this. And sometimes they just happen by default because um, After Effects likes them for some reason. Uh, frequently I actually don't want strange handles on my path. So if that's the case, then I can just check this little box and hit save. And now if I ever apply easing, uh, or if I ever say slide a layer, uh, every time I do an action like that, this will make sure that there are no handles on those keyframes. Uh, the last box here is if you like to change your layout of KeyFast. Um, I like KeyFast to be kind of in the corner of my screen here, but uh, if your layout is a little bit different, then what you can actually do is you can change it to horizontal. So here, let me, um, let me pull it out here, uh, click this little box, and hit save. And now, of course, you can dock it somewhere else. One other way to quickly change settings in KeyFast is to option click on any of these buttons. And any button that has a editable amount um, will pop up with this little window. And you can quickly customize the value. So the easing amount, um, the slide, the rotate. Anything that has these customizable values, you can option click and quickly change it with these mini panels. In the next video, we're going to look at how to use hotkeys, um, things like shift 
and commands to add extra functionality to all these buttons.